Y'all fucking with him yet? Lifestyle on camera, hundred thousand dollar chandelier. They tried to turn me to an animal, but white people think I'm radical. Supermodels think I'm handsome. You might think I'm too aggressive, so really I think I'm too passive. Till I pull out the chopper, start blasting. So what's up, man? It's the kid, baby rich. I know I've been gone for a minute, man. Uh, just found out my grandma has cancer. So you know, been God. Everybody want to know how I met DDG, CJ So Smooth, Flight, and etc. I can't really just jump into it, but I'm gonna give y'all a timeline about me. Hopefully, it'll ease into what y'all really want to know about me. A lot of people don't like; they're not familiar with. I got to where I'm at. I used to dance with this group called Mad Skills. We're gonna start there. Uh, we did 106 in Park, uh, Wild Out Wednesday. BET Awards, uh, Red Carpet Event, the dance competition. And um, we did America's Best Dance Crew. Started off there. A lot of people like, what, you used to dance? I could never see you dance. A lot of people don't know, fun fact, Tupac used to be a backup dancer for um, Digital Underground. A lot of people don't know that. And also uh, did uh, America's Best Dance Crew. My ninth grade year, I had a show at this place called the Carver Theater. When I got off stage, the owner of uh, Mad Skills, he came to me and was like, yo, somebody want to meet you. I'm like, cool. It was Ruben Stutter. If you don't know who Ruben Stutter is, Ruben Stutter won American Idol. That next day, me, my mom, and my brother, we go to Ruben Stutter's studio. And he was like, yo, can you sing? And I was like, song form, it worked out. After that, that's when I started doing music. I was like, yo, this jump kind of cool. That was ninth grade year, so I started opening up for um, Diggy Simmons, OMG Girls, Jacob Lattimore, Mindless Behavior, Juwan Harris, that whole era of uh, music and whatnot. Then I met this girl. So, I met this girl, her name is Adriana Alexis. I met her at the dance studio. Uh, we just kicked it off, she's cool people. Uh, her folks love me, I love her, my folks love her as well. She ended up going to get the role to play Ricky Smiley's daughter. And uh, fun fact, I actually know Ricky Smiley's daughter, the essence. That's actually my friend, we went to high school together. Uh, so yeah, she went on to play that and later on did bigger movies with uh, Gabrielle Union. And she also played Cookie on Empire when she was younger. Yeah. Fast forward, fast forward, uh, get to college. I uh, went to the University of North Alabama. So I get to college, you know, having the time. And I'm like, I go to my classes. I'm like, yo, I ain't really feeling this. So I just like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it all with the music. I uh, started taking music more seriously. <sighs> Got my set up. I used to charge people to come record at my little studio set up. That's how I made my money, because I didn't have a job. I used to throw parties at my apartment, and I used to be the DJ. So, what I do is I play music people know, then I throw in one of my songs that I just recorded, but don't tell nobody just to see how everybody react to it. Some songs, everybody was like, hey, and some song folks was like, nah. So the songs people was like, nah, throw them away. The songs people was vibing to, I kept them, and I made me an EP, and I put it out. So it was cool, so I put it out, and everybody was like, okay, cool, but I had this one song that kind of did better than the rest, and I was like, maybe I got a chance to really do this music stuff. I used to go to different shows with my CDs early, like super early in advance, uh, before the show start, and just wait outside for the artists to come, and like, yo, can I open up, can I open up for you? A lot of people was like, no, a lot of people ignored me, whatever, I kept pushing. So, one day I'm chilling in my apartment and I'm uh, studying for my midterm. So, while I'm studying for my midterm, my homie called me, he was like, yo, I'm in Huntsville. Huntsville was like an hour away from me. He was like, yo, uh, black youngster down here. I told the people about you, man, they, uh, they gonna let you open up. I said, big when? He was like, right now. Can you make it to Huntsville right now? So, I have a midterm in the morning, and I just got the phone to go open up for Black Youngster. So I'm like, yo, do I do the midterm? Study for the midterm for the morning? Or do I open up for Black Youngster? Know what I did? 
I opened up for Black Youngster. You know what I'm saying? Got in the car, got ready. Drove all the way up to Huntsville, an hour out. As soon as I pulled up, they handed me the microphone. Boom, I hit the stage. After I opened up for Black Youngster, a little time go by, my brother called me. He was like, yo, uh, Big Critch coming to town in Birmingham. Uh, I'm gonna get you some VIP tickets. He was like, man, I know you're not really like hip to him like that, but uh, he a real dude and whatnot. Try to talk to him and see if he can help you out with the music. Fast forward to the end of the show, we do the meet and greet. I was like the 10th person in line at the meet and greet, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna uh, go all the way to the back of the line because I got something to say. So I went in line for like an hour for the meet and greet uh, back in line. Finally, I'm the last person. Uh, Big Creek Security was like, yo, uh, where, your, where your camera at? And I was like, uh, hey man, I looked at Creek, I was like, yo, I ain't pay all this money to take no picture with you. I'm trying to rap. And he was like, okay, what you got? Instantly. So I started rapping uh, for him. And I'm freestyling a little bit too on rapping, so he'll know, like, yo, I really, I think I'm nice with this shit. You know what I'm saying? He actually joined in while I was rapping, because he was feeling it. You know what I'm saying? So I said one thing, he came back, said another, and I said something. So we going back and forth, man, it was dope. Then he told me, he was like, man, I'm not really in the position to sign an artist, but I can help you anyway, what do you need? And I knew what I wanted, I was like, yo, you got another show in Tuscaloosa, let me open up. I go to the Tuscaloosa so he bring me out. All right, wait, pause, it's, it's a part I forgot to say. So, on my way to the Tuscaloosa show, I got the manager number, and I pull up to the venue. I call the manager, he not picking up the phone. I'm like, man, they ain't messing with me. They just, you feel, they just played me. So I'm blowing the manager phone up. He ain't even called the people at the front door. They looking at me crazy like I'm lying. I'm like, look, man, Crick told me to come. Crick told me to come. So I'm about to leave. Then the manager called me back like, TJ, where you at? Talking about I was so happy. So, yeah. And I performed or whatnot, and it was lit. And people were like, yo, you open up for Big Crick? Yeah. So I got another phone call. Yo, they heard about you opening up for Big Crick. Uh, we bringing Jacquees. You wanna open up? Like, let's do it. So, long story short, end up opening up for Jacquees, Twenty One Savage, Lucci, uh, so many people and whatnot. Cool. I then I'm working on my third tape by now. Now I'm working on my third tape, Baby Rich. This is when I first changed my name. It's called Baby Rich. I'm playing beats in my car while I'm picking up my little brother, and my little brother like, yo, I like that beat. So I do this song called Popish. Some of y'all may know it. I performed it when I was on tour. I uh, recorded a song and my homie, uh, knew Ty Gurley. So at the time, I didn't know who Ty Gurley was. But uh, Ty Gurley is... Uh, the number one running back in the NFL. He played for the LA Rams. Todd liked some of my pictures on Instagram and he followed me and I'm looking like, I'm thinking it's a fan page. So I'm looking, I'm like, oh snap, it's Todd Gurley. So Todd sent me a video of him singing one of my songs called Doing Wrong. After he sent me the song, that video, he was like, yo, we gotta link up. He had the Pro Bowl in uh, Orlando, Florida. I flew out to Orlando, Florida. Linked up with Ty. Fast forward, we in LA. I shoot the video, Pop-ish, with Ty Grill at his house in LA. Pull up and pop shit. Pull up with glizzies and a chopstick. So when I dropped there, I got so much buzz because everybody like, yo, how he get with Ty Gurley, da 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 da. And I shot the video with that, uh, dropped that. And uh, what I also learned was football fans don't translate over into music fans. They older folks, so they don't understand our type of music. So I didn't really get like a big following after that, but I got a lot of exposure from that. After the Ty Gurley situation, uh, my man's 
he was telling me about this cat named DDG. He was like, yo, is this cat named DDG a YouTuber? And uh, he's doing music now. I'm like, okay, cool. So then, my little brother was walking around the house and he was playing the same song, Big Bad Big Red. I said, who that is? He was like, it's DDG. So I said, okay, cool. I said, you know what? Let me, uh, let me get my people to reach out to his people. No, 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 no. What happened? I said, okay, cool. Uh, let me check him out. So I go on his Instagram page and I see him out. I said, okay, cool. And I noticed he was getting ready to go on tour, the Take Me Serious tour. So I'm like, uh, so I'm like, uh, I'm like, let me reach out to his people and see if I could join the tour. You know? So I reached out to his people and it was like, man, uh, his manager, Dimitri, his manager was already a fan of Ty Gurley. So he saw the pop shit video. So he was like, oh yeah, man, uh, that's dope, da, 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 whatever. So he was like, hey man, uh, I reached out like, yo, can I get on the tour? And he was like, man, we already got the slots filled, man, the business already handled and whatnot. So we're not gonna be able to pay you and whatnot. So I told him, I was like, I do it for free. Just let me get on it. The whole Take Me Serious tour, I came out of, we came, like, my whole team, we came out of pocket ourselves. You know what I'm saying? For the whole tour. Well, we did like six, seven cities. So I won't say the whole tour, but we did six, seven cities. You know, Florida, Texas, and whatnot. I ain't get paid for that tour at all. You know what I'm saying? I paid for my own travel, paid for my own uh, food, stay, everything, just for the exposure. After we did that, uh, that's how I met DDG, but we ain't really like get like cool or nothing like like not like cool close or nothing like that. So, uh, but we got cool though. Like okay, what happened? You know what I'm saying? I see you. You see me? What's up? So, after the tour was over, I was talking with my people, my boy, and I was like, man, what's the next move? And he was like, yo, it'll be dope if you and DDG did a song together. So I'm like, true. True. So, uh, uh, I hit up his people. I hit up my, uh, my man Demetri again. I'm like, yo, Demetri, what's up with the feature, yo? Demetri was like, man, we charging X amount of dollars. And I'm, I'm like, all right, cool. So I was short. I was short X amount. Of, I had a, my homie. He was like, yo, I get to you. I want nothing out of it. Uh, I just want to see you win, so I'm like, I bet. At the moment, before he threw it to me, he was like, yo, you sure you don't want to get a feature with Lil Baby? So I was like, he was like, yo, I'm, I'm willing to throw in more if you do the feature with Lil Baby. So I'm like, hmm, should I do Lil Baby or should I do DDG? So I ended up choosing, of course, DDG. All right, before you say anything, I know what you're thinking, like, what, you chose DDG over Lil Baby? It's more of a, it's more of a, a connection with me. Like, I knew his people, I knew him. I was cool with his people, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, I know them. Baby, Lil Baby, he just gonna, he gonna take my money and do the song and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. I said with DDG, like I knew Demetri and them, I knew his team, knew his brother. Uh, that when I met Dub and them, and I was like, yo, uh, I think I'm gonna rock with, uh, I think I'm gonna rock with DDG, or whatnot, cause we got a better connection. So a lot of people called me stupid. They were like, bro, you should have did da 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 da. Like, nah, I know what I'm doing. And if I fall or if I fail, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to be on me and my own accord. You know what I'm saying? I can live with it. I can live with me feeling as long as I'm the one who made the decision and not me listening to somebody else. So I did the feature and whatnot. I sent them a couple songs. The songs they sent back was, of course, two girlfriends. That's the ones they like. All right, pause. In the midst of that, uh, when we was on tour to Take Me Serious tour, when we was in Orlando, that's when I met Flight and that's when I met CJ So Smooth. I met them there. Uh, I met uh, Flight first, and I met CJ So Smooth 
right before I think I went on stage or right before DDG went on stage and whatnot. So me and Flight chopped it up and whatnot. Follow me, I followed him. Uh, me and CJ, we chopped it up. <laughs> but when I got off stage, CJ was like, yo, man, you dope. You hard, yo, I like your music, yo. I'm like, man, appreciate it. So when we got to Texas, uh, I brought CJ so smooth out on stage with me. I back to the store. So we did two girlfriends. When I mean DDG, we did two girlfriends. After we did the two girlfriends joint, uh, we dropped it. It didn't get world star. It didn't get none of that. Um, you know, stuff happens. There's a lot of situations that happen with it. But um, it's all good. We get we uh, the song ended up getting like I think like half a million views. Uh, YouTube, but I wasn't tripping because that was like my highest view video. So uh, after the after I did the song, you know, had a lot of opportunities come. I had a lot of people trying to work with me. I had a different people try to sign me, but um, I just wasn't feeling it. Uh, I had a lot of people try to sign me. A lot of people wanted to manage me and everything, but I was like, nah, I'm good on it. Fast forward, DDG do a show in Atlanta. Uh, Demetri was like, yo, uh, you got a show in Atlanta when I pull up. I was like, yo, can I perform? He was like, man, you ain't got X dick. So I performed in Atlanta. After the show in Atlanta, uh, we go to Waffle House. And uh, DDG sitting with some more folks, and I'm sitting with Demetri and them. Demetri was like, yo, finna go on tour again. I want you to come with. But this time, I want you to come by yourself. Don't come with everybody. And I'm like, I don't really know them like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know people like that, man. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? But I was like, what the hell? Fuck it. Went on tour, the uh, Breaking the Internet tour. And uh, yeah, that's what happened. And that's how I met everybody. And that's how I ended up getting where I'm at. A lot of people said I clout chased to get where I'm at. But let's be honest. Everything I done did and everything I done uh, accomplished or you see me with, ain't nobody give me nothing. I paid for everything. Ain't nobody do me no favor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all that. Like, for real. So, I'm a genuine person. So a lot of people, uh, a lot of people take that for granted. A lot of people, just cause I show love, don't mean I'm clout chasing just cause I, you know what I'm saying? I do X, Y, Z, don't mean I'm cloud chasing, yo. I show love, I pay to get where I'm at, I worked hard to get where I'm at, you know? I got a lot more in store. I got a lot of uh, business I've been handling behind the scene. I've been dealing with my grandma, uh, the council situation with her. And uh, I uh, just stay tuned for what I got next. Like I said, I'm Baby Rich. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna try to uh, keep update on this YouTube. I'm gonna try to uh, get back posting more daily or every other day. Uh, and I'm gonna try to get to it. But I hope I answered a lot of y'all questions. And uh, yeah, I'm out.